Hello, and welcome to a short introduction to PowerStage Designer. PowerStage Designer is a tool that helps engineers with calculating values for the power stage of a chosen power supply pretty quickly. It can also display the waveforms for the different components of the chosen topology. The start screen of the tool shows 20 of the most common power supply topologies to choose from. I will explain the key features of a topology window on the basis of a flyback converter. On the left side, we specify our input parameters. Our input voltage range for this design is between 27 and 60 volts. Nominal input is 48 volts. The specified output voltage is 12 volts with a maximum load current of 1.1 amps. With these values, we don't expect very high currents, so a switching frequency of 350 kHz is reasonable. A common value for the diode forward voltage is 0.7 volts. As we won't have high currents on the primary side, we can select the maximum current ripple of 85% to reduce the necessary transformer inductance. The maximum duty cycle is chosen to be less than 56% to leave enough time for commutation of the secondary winding. The mode of operation is continuous conduction mode. PowerStage Designer proposes values for the transformer turns ratio and the primary inductance. After entering these values, we can see the period, duty cycle, on time, off time, right half plane zero, input power, output power, diode losses, secondary transformer inductance, input current, and current ripple. By clicking on the symbol of the switch Q1, we can evaluate the waveforms and other important parameters like minimum and maximum voltage, peak current, RMS and AC currents as well. Knowing these values is important to choose the appropriate components for our design. With the input voltage slider, we can alter the input voltage and see how different values change. Based on the maximum values for voltages and currents, we can select the appropriate parts for our power supply design. This procedure can be applied for all components in the schematic. Additional information on the chosen topology can be found via the info button. You can save the design parameters to a file and load them whenever you need them again. Another option is to print the design. You can search TI's online database for already built and tested reference designs by clicking on the link on the bottom right. There might already be a solution for your specification or just transfer your data to WebEng to start a design with a controller and optimize it for efficiency. Additionally, PowerStage Designer contains a helpful toolbox. The first item we'll take a look at is the loop calculator. With the loop calculator, users can visualize the frequency response of their power supply. Supported topologies include current mode control, bucks, current mode control boosts, inverting buck boosts, flybacks, forwards, as well as voltage mode control bucks. The FET losses calculator enables the user to compare different FETs. The values for certain FETs can be saved and loaded. The values on the left side transfer from the chosen topology. The capacitor current sharing calculator gives a first harmonic approximation of how the RMS currents are distributed among three parallel capacitors. This is especially helpful for choosing the right amount of required input and output capacitors. With the AC to DC bulk capacitor calculator, you can estimate the required amount of bulk capacitance for your AC to DC power supply based on different input parameters. The RC snubber calculator for rectifiers helps the user find starting values for the snubber resistance and capacitance to reduce ringing across rectifiers. The user just needs to measure the ringing frequency with and without a capacitor parallel to the rectifier. By using the RCD snubber calculator for flyback converters, you can reduce the switching node ringing of your flyback converter. With the output voltage scaling tool, the user has an easy way to calculate the output resistor divider for fixed output voltages as well as analog dynamic out voltage scaling, as well as digital output voltage scaling. The unit converter helps to convert different power supply related parameters. For information or more information on topologies and the equations behind the toolbox, PowerStage Designer contains links to the Power Topologies Handbook and to PowerStage Designer User's Guide. Thank you for watching this video on PowerStage Designer. For more information regarding the Power Topologies in PowerStage Designer, please follow this link.